Hi, everyone. Dana here, your relocation agent for Madison, Wisconsin. Today, I am here reporting from my living room to talk about living in Madison, the pros and the cons. A lot of these are kind of my opinion, a little bit of research, but mostly my lived experience. I moved here in 2015, absolutely fell in love with it. It took all of Wisconsin's best qualities and put it in this super cute, uh, some people call a city, some people call a big town, but city of Madison. Let's do one pro and then one con and see where we end up. So a big pro of living in Madison, it, our nature, our natural beauty. Madison is gorgeous. It's stunning. It is surrounded by nature. We have Lake Mendota, Lake Monona, Lake Wabiza, Lake Kaganza, and not to mention like the most beautiful, amazing state parks within an hour to two hours from here. One of my favorite two, I would say, because my family and I love to camp. We have a VW van. And since I'm a real estate agent, I have to stay nearby, right? So uh, Blue Mounds State Park, absolutely gorgeous. It has mountain biking. It has a pool. It has hiking trails. It's secluded. It has beautiful trees. It has Mount Horeb nearby, which is so fun to stop over by. And then Governor Dodge State Park, which is just absolutely gorgeous and huge, a huge area. So if you want to get lost in nature, you can do that nearby. You can have best of both worlds living in the city and having nature nearby. And not to mention that there's actually so much nature just within the city. There is so many bike trails, hiking paths. So that is something that a lot of people feel spirited by here in Madison. And it's so important when you live in the city to also be able to get out in nature. And this city can do that. So that is a pro. Let's go to a con. The biggest elephant in the room, harsh winters. We're in the Midwest. We're in Wisconsin. Winters feel long. I had this epiphany earlier this year that seasons are actually three months. There's four seasons. They're every three months. I was like, uh-uh. For all my life, especially in Wisconsin, winter feels like the longest nine-month season, <laughs> if I'm exaggerating. So. Madison experiences cold and sometimes snowy winters. And actually kind of a con recently is we're not getting as much snow as we used to. And those people who are wanting to cross country ski have to go seek it a little bit further out. That's just my opinion, but it seems like that's been that way for the past couple of years. Anyway, the temperatures can drop below freezing. I think the biggest, the hardest thing for me personally and my friends is that it gets dark out early. You know, it's cold and it gets dark out. So you, ha you have to embrace the winter here. That's eating warm soups and cozy meals, you know, cuddling up under your blanket, doing the whole den hog interior design in your house to just feel warm and cozy and embrace it. So maybe this could be a pro for you. Come into Wisconsin for a little more hibernation during the winters. Okay, back to a pro. It's a vibrant cultural scene here. Madison is known for its thriving arts and cultural community. It hosts a lot of festivals. It has art galleries, theaters, and live music venues. There's always some type of live music to go see. It's really amazing. It's also the home of the University of Wisconsin, which adds a lot of vibrancy and just variety into the culture. It's nice to have a variety of people. It's nice when a lot of the students leave during the summer. And there's just, there's always, I always tell people, there's always something for everyone who lives here. Whatever you're into, if it is the live music scene, if it is gastronomy and, and trying different foods, or if it is nature, um, if it's the spiritual yoga community. I mean, Madison has it all. It's really awesome. Okay. Trying to make this snappy. <laughs> Going back to a con. Hmm, another con that Madison has is traffic congestion. You know, Madison is a growing city and it has experienced increased traffic congestion. And we have a thing here called the Beltline. And I mean, so if you're not familiar, look at a map. Madison is like an isthmus. So there's a piece of land with Lake Mendota and Lake Monona. 
And so to get to the west side from the east side or vice versa, like you have to take the belt line or you have to take these weird ways around the lakes. And what I've heard is that it's actually not as bad as living in LA or Austin or different big cities. But even if you used to live there and you come to Madison, you get spoiled. And if you live on the east side, you don't want to drive all the way to the west side to Greenway Station for just one meeting. You don't want to go on the belt line if you don't have to. They did add a flex lane this past year, and that has helped a lot. But you have to buckle up and you have to be careful because there's some kind of crazy people on the belt line sometimes. Sorry to say, people. Sorry to say to the crazy drivers on the belt line. (laughs) Didn't mean that. (laughs) But traffic congestion, the city is growing. It's very much sought after. People are moving here, so we can only expect that traffic will be getting a little harder and a little worse. Another pro for Madison, the quality of life. Madison consistently ranks among the best cities to live in in the United States. What can we say? The city offers a high standard of living with low crime rates, quality health care facilities, and a strong job market. It's a really good work-life balance here, and we're Midwesterners. We have friendly and welcoming people here. We have a friendly and welcoming atmosphere. So it's a great quality of life. It's easy to move to the city and network immediately because it's kind of like a big town or a small city. You find that when you run in the same circles, it's very easy to bump into the same people. I found my transition moving here really easy and there's always job opportunities and always networking to be had and people to hang out with. That's such a bonus. And there's amazing companies here. And I'm sure maybe if you're watching this, you're moving here for one of those. We've got Epic Systems, American Family Insurance, the University, ProMega, Exact Sciences. I mean, there are a lot of headquarters here and a lot of opportunities for people. So it's really, really a great place to move to. Okay, back to a con. For Madison is the cost of living. While it's not as high as other major cities, the cost of living in Madison can be relatively expensive compared to other parts of Wisconsin. So. If you're relocating from other parts of Wisconsin, expect to spend more housing costs, even rent, and especially, you know, the home market in the past couple years, low inventory. People are offering a lot over asking, and we'll see where that market goes over the next few years. And so the cost of living here can be higher than the state average in the rest of Wisconsin. But from my understanding, the cost of living here is much better than a lot of other big cities out there. If you're like me, yes. My, my big cost is organic groceries that I get at the Willie Co-op. Man, does that cost an arm and a leg. But once I started eating from that grocery store, I can't seem to stop. So whatever it is for you, sometimes it is worth it to live here. Get back to another pro, a strong education system. Madison is renowned for its excellent education system. The University of Wisconsin-Madison is a top-ranked public research university and it offers a wide range of academic programs. Additionally, the city has highly regarded public and private K-12 schools. Yeah, there's a lot here. And even in regards to that, if you're moving here with kiddos, there are amazing public schools. There are also a lot of amazing private schools. My daughter is only going to be two years old, so we haven't really dived into it yet, but I know there are Montessori, there are Waldorf, and whatever other schools that you may be interested in. Madison definitely has that for your family. So if you want to know more about that, message me and I can help you get more information. Last con for Madison is, this kind of goes with the winter thing, (laughs) short summers. Although Madison has the best summer ever, they can feel relatively short. The warm weather and outdoor activities are limited to a few months, but if you have a little more kahunes and you dress appropriately, what is that saying again? There's no bad weather, just poor clothing. We do have a Sierra store now. We have an REI. So you just have to dress better and then take advantage of all the fun summer activities. There's paddle boarding, there's kayaking, hiking. There's people running with their heavy backpacks, doing those heavy backpack races. There's the the gyms who are doing their Olympic weightlifting. I used to be one of those, believe it or not. Now I'm not. I enjoy mountain biking more now and yoga. But 
there's so much to do in summer. Madison summers are absolutely amazing. And it's almost, it's, it's a pro and a con because you want to like maximize it. You come out of winter and basically as soon as spring starts to warm up, you're like, it's summer. We have to do all the Madison things. We need a bike to the beer garden and go see these live events and all the stuff that's going on. I mean, in a couple of weeks, it's La Fête de Marquette, which is a huge festival here in Madison. It's always so much fun. People just let their hair down there. And they are also the nicest people at this festival. Everyone is just like love and light. It's over on the Willie Street area and the volunteers who put it on, everyone, the shows, live music, it is absolutely amazing and great for the kids too. So summers are short. That's a con. But I think it's the harsh winters that make you want to like really take advantage of the summers. I tried to flip that one to a pro. (laughs) So that's it, you guys. Those are some of the pros and cons of living in Madison. I'm going to come at you again with more pros and cons, more videos about Madison, Wisconsin. We are going to talk about what you must know when moving here, the cost of living. We're going to deep dive down that. The top reasons to move to Madison, the pros only of moving to Madison, and talking about the local areas, the neighborhoods. Stay tuned to this channel for more videos. I am so excited to connect with you and help you on your move to Madison, Wisconsin. All right, take care.